Okay, this is the um, May 21st meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. We're being videoed by Frontier Community Access Television for future viewing by our residents and the public. And the first item is we want to welcome our new selectman, Phil Cantor. Uh, very Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor. We, we really appreciate your um, your being on the board and uh, your willingness to basically volunteer, you know, to do this because it's an important situation and I'm sure you'll find it very rewarding. Um, and, you know, as you get into it, you'll, you'll learn a lot of good stuff and a lot of responsibility, but it's fun. Thanks. I hope not most, to dis most I hope, days. It's I hope not to disappoint you, or at least on a regular basis. Oh, not at all. Not at all. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. My next item on our agenda is the oh. minutes for um, May 14. Yeah. Bob, did you? Uh, I read them. They look good. They look good to me too. Yeah. Make a motion that we approve the minutes for the May 14th meeting. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Abstain. Meetings attended by select board members. So traditionally, I went first. So if you want to now go first, or any way you want to do this. Um, well, I did not attend any meetings on behalf of the select board. Okay. And I don't really think the school committee really comes in under this heading, unless you do, unless you want me to talk about that. But it's, uh, if you if you like, go ahead. Let us know. Um, uh, in the in f the big news in our local school is that the superintendent has resigned, mm -hmm. um, and uh, effective effective June thirtieth, there the superintendent search committee is being formed tonight, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully we might be able to have one in place June thirtieth so that we don't have to spend money on a temporary, uh, which is not in the budget, and mm -hmm. they charge two to three thousand dollars a week. Mm. Uh, but the state yeah. law says you have to have one, so June June thirtieth is is a sweet turnaround. We know. I, aren't there some people on the committee that want to do some sort of a national search? Didn't I hear that? Um, yeah, and that's a that's that's a very costly endeavor yes, as well. Um, yeah, yeah. And that's part of the by having a superintendent resign a year early. We there's no there's no budget preparation for this sort of thing yeah and yeah. we just did a statewide search two years ago and we felt like we hired the best candidate that was available from that search um so yeah tonight it it's that's a hard thing because our we pay less than the state average now for that position is close to three hundred thousand three hundred close to it close to it like two, two seventy two eighty now and there are districts paying four and we pay 130, and we have the virtue of five school committee meetings per month, five select board meetings, and open da da da, and all the other districts have one of each of those. Mm -hmm. so. And there's no one groomed kind of to move up. Um, there's a lot of people that are qualified and uh, professionally qualified as well in that building. There's six or seven of them, uh -huh. um, and we'll, we hope that somebody will step forward and we'll meet with our agreement. Um, but there's a lot of chefs stirring the pot in those things. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay. And is there any movement to have a select board member on that hiring committee? Um, it, yeah, that, that depends how, if it's a national search, that would, that has in the past been the case. If it's a, uh, Add it, you know, post it, post it, and see what we can come up with, mm -hmm. kind of a thing that might be a much smaller committee. Um, but yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, Bill. Sure. Robert. So, well, last week we had a brief site visit, and we had town meeting. And oh, town meeting! Yeah. If you remember back that far, I'm and, trying. Yes, trying. And uh, and I can say, speaking for FCAT. Uh, uh, we had an FCAT meeting on Thursday, so one of the things we talked about was how town meetings went, and and uh, in general, and and ours was the last town meeting of the four towns. Right, and you so made it worth their while. And, and uh, you know, I mean, I'll say FCAT felt that they did 
an excellent job on all the town meetings and would certainly like feedback on things like the microphone situation. Mm -hmm. You know, we went from a standing microphone to the wireless microphones uh, with, and, and, it, and they felt that over the course of each of the meetings, they had to deal with the same problem of people waiting to speak while somebody ran across the room with a microphone. Mm -hmm. And uh, Maybe if we had uh, a standing mic available and runners but, uh, that would that we could do whatever we well, want but it, it, it certainly wasn't fcat's fault it was the people who were speaking right. prematurely absolutely and not being used to having to wait yeah. yeah and and really the reason for the mic is for the for the recording not for the people in the room and right it is right. true that many people have a loud voice but you're still not loud enough to get all the way across the room to a random fcat handheld microphone right right uh, so yeah, I, I had a conflict on Thursday. I couldn't make the FCAT board That's meeting. Right. Yeah. So I, those are I my I apologize, meetings. Mr. Chair. That's okay. Yeah. I'm good. That's you're it. good. You don't want to talk about uh, your get-together yesterday? That might be of interest. Well, it certainly wasn't a select board meeting, but I had, a, I had an event at my house yesterday with uh, inviting all eight of the CULA candidates to my house and for, for you know people in my neighborhood mostly to come and and uh, meet them because many people have been saying they didn't know any of the eight candidates mm -hmm. and so actually seven of them were there it was and so we had a we had a, an okay crowd not I was a little nervous of trying to cram a hundred people in my house in the rain mm -hmm. so that, yeah, that, right. that did not happen so it didn't rain and we didn't have a hundred people but, but it okay. went fine that's great yeah I, I was there and I, I thought it was going very well yeah. And, mo and I, wanted, I wanted the candidates to come to Conway. Many of them had never been to Conway. Uh, some of the candidates are from Huntington and, it, it, you know, um, far away places. And, mm -hmm. and uh, so welcome to Conway. And so you gave them directions via Main Poland Road? Uh, 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 if they were coming from Cummington, they <clears throat> pretty much had to come. Yeah, sometimes they came that way. Yeah. And some of them knew those roads and enjoyed driving on those roads. Well, the more you know them, the more you enjoy it. That's right. Did anybody in particular impress either one of you? I like three or four of them, and it's, and it's hard to, you know, I mean, I'm not, I don't, I, at the moment, I don't know who to vote for. Uh, I, I like three of them, but I won't mention any names. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was good, good meeting everybody. Yeah. And just, just so the folks in Conway who are watching this will know, um, there is uh, a large event at Frontier High School on Wednesday at 7 o'clock uh, organized by the Climate Action Now group and the League of Women Voters to ask all eight of the candidates their thoughts on climate change. So it's going to be a, a forum where all the candidates get questioned, but it's going to be particularly focused on climate change. So that's Frontier, Frontier 7 o'clock on Wednesday? 7 o'clock, Wednesday. the 23rd, Wednesday. Yep. That's, okay, that's two days from now. That's right, two days from now. Yeah, okay. So there'll be another opportunity to meet them, and usually they'll hang around and you can talk to them afterwards, but, mm -hmm. but you get to hear their thoughts. Okay. Mm. And, and, you know, and, uh, you know, it's probably good that you brought this up because Hewlett was so important to our select board and to many things you know, in our town. And, and I'm expecting whoever replaces him will also be important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big, big shoes to fill. Yeah. Big shoes to fill. Yeah. Steve has been tremendous to us for a long time. He's always, he was always there when we needed him. Yeah. Good listener. That's so it's un unfortunate that he's not, uh, not continuing. Okay, let's see, what did I do last week? Um, I had a um, Massachusetts Selectmen's Association regional meeting in Boston. The topic was uh, cannabis. We had uh, Margaret Hurley from the AG's office there, and we had David Lakeman, uh, who's the uh, Director of Government Affairs for the Cannabis Control Commission. Uh, it was a two-hour presentation and questions and answers. It could have been six because there were plenty of questions and there were plenty of answers that didn't quite answer the question. So there's, there's still a lot of unsettled um, items with uh, the way this is going to be implemented, rolled out. 
uh, and there's and there's different rules for whether you're a retailer or a grower or a or a lab or a you know it, it's just just a, a morass of, of regulations and uh, but it's still on schedule well it's supposedly still on schedule yeah uh, yeah um, but it was a good meeting it was a good meeting and well attended um, I also uh, went to the um, Franklin County Chamber of Commerce luncheon last week uh, because uh, Secretary Jay Ash was there talking about economic development for Western Massachusetts. And um, the, the, the Baker Polito administration has been very uh, cognizant of the fact that uh, Western Massachusetts needs some significant economic development. And, and Jay is, is doing whatever he can to, to promote uh, workforce development more grants, um, uh, affordable housing, all those things that, that come together to make economic development uh, work. So that was, that was a good meeting. Very well attended, about 130 hmm. um, people in attendance. It was up at GCC uh, in, the, in the dining hall there, the Cone Dining Hall. And uh, it was a very good meeting. <coughs> Um, not involved in, in municipal stuff. On Friday, I had been, invo I'd been invited by General McGurn to um, participate on the USS Constitution Veterans War you Memorial Turnaround Cruise. You went on that? I went on that. Oh, you yes. are lucky. <laughs> um, I would have loved to go on that. It was, it was quite an event. Um, Followed by a commemoration for Vietnam veterans, and it was uh, it was it was great. It was like a three-hour cruise out into the harbor. Did a 21-gun salute and a 17-gun salute with the cannons. Um, the crew gave us a demonstration of their underway, you know, um, shipboard uh, duties. Um, and and the, the USS Constitution is the oldest commissioned. Um, warship. Warship, floating warship in the world, mm. and it's a it's magnificent. It's magnificent been redone. Ship. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. They had it in dry dock. Uh, it was two or three years ago, I think yeah. it was, and they they redid the whole the whole ship, and it's it's very interesting, very interesting. Our kids still go on field trips to it. It's, oh yeah, it's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, and 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 as I say, it was uh, to go out um, on the water, of course. They don't have their own power, okay? They use tugs to bring it out and bring it back. But uh, quite, quite a uh, piece of naval history. So it was, it was a lot of, uh, lot of fun. And it was interesting to talk to um, some of my Marine Corps and Navy brothers who were uh, also Vietnam veterans. So it was interesting, very interesting. So that was, that was fun. Okay. Tough job, but somebody had to do it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I was, I was, uh, um, yeah, I was, I was very uh, humbled to be invited. Mm -hmm. to tell you the truth. Uh, public comments. Do we have any public comments? I don't see any public here, so I guess we don't have any comments. Next item is old business. Doesn't look like we have any old business. New business. We have organization of the select board, elect a chair and a clerk. Do we have any nominations? Um, I'd nominate John for chair. Okay. I'll nominate you for clerk. <laughs> okay. Do we have any other nominations? Um, no, I, um, I, I don't know enough to be chair myself. For, okay. <laughs> you mean point. particularly for those two? Yeah, that's it. I will close nominations and... Um, uh, I'll make a motion that we accept those nominations. I have a second. Second. Yes, All in can. favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, regional representatives. So, so Bob, including was, Bob was the, uh, the clerk last year, just, just to let you know. So you can look forward to it. Um, yeah, that, yeah <laughs> they made me the Secretary of Frontier, and I, all it means is I have to negotiate real estate deals now. And things no, like that. all you have to do is approve the, the minutes. The, 
Lisa and I, Lisa writes and I gently edit. Um, next is but regional, regional, but but he's going to do it. Now. Regional representatives, including FERCON positions. Um, Tom, what and, do we have up? And, and I meant um, the, um, it shouldn't be including the fur card positions because they send out a separate invitation later on in the summer. I remembered that because I did this last year and okay. and then, then we get the things there. So it's actually not that. Um, but there is the... Um, well, so just, just so Phil knows. So, so we send two representatives down to... Um, Conway has can send three representatives down to FERCOG. Uh, I mean to FCAT, the Community Access Television. And in the past, last year, I was a representative representing the Broadband Committee, and John was a representative representing the Select Board. And most of the towns have one Select Board member, um, and we happen to have two, but, uh, you know, we don't deliberate when we're both there. Uh, and Thanks. For, see, these are good explanations. So, it's good. I like that. So you know, and you and I assume that I'm going to be a, a, a going to be a, a representative from Conway from the Broadband Committee again for one thing because I'm chair of FCAT. Um, <laughs> we but, better we better but, elect you. Again. Um, yeah. But but okay. so so you and John, I, you know, I don't know if, if community access television is something you're especially interested in, and mm -hmm. and you know, this the select board will have to send a, a rep down, you know, or hopefully will. So if it's something you want to do, or maybe something, I mean, John appears to enjoy it too, so. I was trying um, to get my daughter to apply for a job there for, she's 16, and it seemed to me more palatable than waiting tables, but uh, I don't know if she's going to or not, but I don't know if that would present a problem, but. Mm. Uh, I, I can't imagine it. So, th so that's the FCAT thing, but, but Tom, you're saying we don't need to do that one now anyway. Well, FCAT is FCAT. You can do that whenever you like. I, I'm not sure. You Perhaps we ought to ask the board chair when, when they send out the invitations I to towns actually for representatives. I, I have no idea. So, but, <laughs> That's Chris. But they will um, let no, us know. Yeah, and so, so there's the select board rep, the broadband rep, and you said there were three reps the town could have on it? Yeah, the other one Yeah, is, we used to have uh, Michael Merritt, and, and Michael stopped. He, he got, Michael's, you know, started a teaching job. And is that a is, sort of an at-large membership, or, or is it representing, say, the broadband committee of the select board? <laughs> no, that would be sort of an at-large mm. member. Okay. And they hope to have three from each town, and uh, most towns don't mm -hmm. have three, or three that come regularly. And John has been the representative from the select board. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't see any problem with going ahead with that. Okay, um, then. If you wanted to think about it or whatever, you, you know, there's lots to do. Well, so. see, part, part of it is that for me, the, the, like a question like that still in a vacuum because I don't know how much more there is than how many more things that I might be asked. And so, uh, like, I, I, yeah, I, why don't we why don't we go over the other? The other sure. Yeah, there's the Upper Pioneer Valley Veterans District Rep, which right now is John. There's the Franklin Regional Transit Authority, which was Mr. Baker. Um, and then there are various Franklin Regional Council of Government positions. There's the, the council position, which has been John. There's a planning board position, which I have taken in the past. I've been a member of the planning board in various ways for... In, but I'm not the... I, I thought that I had stopped that, and then I checked with them, and they said that we had appointed you to the economic development. Yeah. Um, committee, and I thought that you'd been involved in the planning. I went to somehow. some of the meetings, but I never felt like I was actually on the board. Right, and and I think that that might be a good thing um, this time. Uh, so, I, because I could have sworn I was an at-large member, and hmm. someone else was was on that anyway. Um, and so those are the three positions for the for the COG, the Council, the Economic Development Committee, and the Planning Board. Um, and you so know, we would e we could each take one of those. Yeah, it's true. As I, I can definitely re recommend the the Economic Development one. It doesn't take a lot of time, mm -hmm. and you learn a lot about the local um, agencies and what's going on at the county level about housing and. Um, stuff like that, you know, just um, business, all kinds of things. 
you know, the fur cock stuff interests me. But, good. but I'm also, as the low man on the totem pole, my wishes in this regard should be paid oh, no. least attention. No, no, no. Good, uh, very good organization. Yeah. And I deal with a lot of the RPAs around the state, and they all look to the FERCOG as the model. FERCOG does a great job. I'll be happy to stay with with uh, my positions that I've already been the veterans' yeah. position and, as and well as the council position. And, and we'll get the FERCOG um, paperwork later in the summer. I think July or August. This summer. Yeah. That. Okay. Uh, but we do need that then the Franklin Regional Transit Authority and the Upper Pioneer Valley Veteran Services District. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. The Veterans and, and Services. And Bob is on the Transit Authority. I don't know about that one. I actually don't know very much about it. They, well, they meet very yeah. sporadically. It's not it's not a regular thing. It's like once every six months, I think, isn't it? Or is it, it might quarterly? Be quarter, it might be quarterly. Quarterly, yeah. So this is looking at, you know, further routes and, yeah. and, and you know, all the, the, the bus schedules. And, and, you know, we have the ability for uh, on-demand service here, but obviously not a scheduled route. Yeah. So that's marginally. So if you would like to do that, that, that would be fine with me. Um, yeah, there's nothing inside of me that calls out for me to do that, but okay. I, I, well, I, I'll, 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 I think if... if I, I'm happy to do it if, if you don't you know, feel right. like it and you can do one of the, or two of the other ones. Okay. We'll just, sounds like we a good just, swap. We sounds split like, them all up. All right. Okay. Sounds, sounds good. I'll do the transit. All right. And my interest there, just, just there, I, I do have an interest in that actually, but it's, you know, the, the, the issue comes up all of the time related to climate change and, and, uh, and trying to cut back on the energy and how we're going to reduce the amount of, of carbon we use for you know, for transportation. And they've been good about getting bike uh, bike racks for buses and things like that. So, mm -hmm. okay. so right. that's my interest at, at all. So that's good. Do we have them all filled? Uh, those are good for now. Okay, good. All right, next is meeting schedule. Okay, tonight is a non-warrant meeting. So what, what will happen is next week we sign warrants every two weeks. Payroll and vendor And warrants. basically we sign those so people can get paid. Uh, so next week we'll have our regular meeting and then from then on it'll be every two weeks during the summer uh, until budget season again. So uh, do we need to vote on that? Uh, uh, recall. We voted on that. All right. uh, John, John, John and I won't won't call a meeting until okay. I can the live with that. Come yeah. How's that? <laughs> yeah. we, need, we need an interim meeting, and we can always have. Uh, well, of course. Yeah, of course. If something comes up where we have to have a meeting, then then we we have a meeting. Uh, but but uh, during the summer until we get into budget season again, it's just every other week. Great. Because normally during the summer there isn't there isn't that much. You know, the budget season is what takes up a right. lot of time. So, I know that. So yeah, do you change those around for your own vacations or? Have you no, past? because we're locked into the warrants. Uh, I mean, we sometimes are, you know, like next week we're going to have it on a Tuesday because it's Memorial Day. Right. So, but, and the accountant and uh, accounts payable clerk will come in on that Tuesday and the warrants will be ready for you. Right. Okay. Right. And, and if you can't make a meeting, you can't make a meeting. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, July 23rd. Okay. Hmm. Martha Jr. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, next item, insurance. Accept the offer for police and fire injured on duty insurance. All right, this is just, this is pro forma. We do this every year. Um, has there been much of a change in this contract, Tom? No. No. Okay, same as last year, uh, basically? Very, very close, yes. Okay, all right. I'll make a motion that we sign the, uh, uh, the offer for police and fire injured on duty insurance. I have a second. Second. All second. in favor? Okay. Right. Just see, I, I didn't print these things out, but I did. I did read them all as they were sent to me. Right. And, and I, so I, I know what you're talking about. No, no, I'm not we, shuffling we, papers, so I feel like I, I didn't print this one either, and it wasn't in the in your in the papers. You, have, you should have copies for everything yeah. here. No. So so that's uh, I know it, it's in there under the last one. I the, saw uh, it. Injured on duty thing. It's, it's on the bottom. I think. Yeah, that's the one. Cater risk strategies. Mm -hmm. Wasn't in my packet. 
but you did send it to us by email. Yeah. Okay. My right, next item is to sign the annual permission for the FERCOG to contract for highway products and services on behalf of the town. This is again pro forma. We do this every year. Um, the, the FERCOG has a, a group purchasing situation. Andrea Woods is the purchasing uh, program manager. She does an excellent job. Uh, and we get, um, they go out and do the bids for us. And then, you know, we, we piggyback with on, on a number of other towns and, and on their uh, on their RFP, so it's it's something we do every year. Um, I'll make a motion that we sign the uh, uh, annual permission for FERCOC for the contract for highway products and services on behalf of the town. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now this requires three signatures, so we all have to sign this. in the new member needed for the Frontier Bonding Committee. Uh, we have an announcement. Oh, good. Section. Good, good, good. Oh, yeah. So that would be under uh, a regional representative, too. Maybe we can do that later. All right. That's fine. Thanks. So on this next item on the agenda, proposed revision to retiree uh, benefits. Yeah, this is something the treasurer is proposing. It's been an informal policy so far. Uh, what we do is uh, for retirees, mm -hmm. um, they get um, uh, they're able to uh, continue on the town's uh, health benefits um, at at paying fifty percent. Their spouses have been allowed on. Um, paying a hundred percent, but still having access to the town's health care plan. Mm -hmm. So this would formalize this, the surviving spouse um, uh, access to the town's health care plan uh, while paying a hundred percent of the premium. So we're not kicking in half uh, for the surviving spouse, but we do we would continue to allow them access to the plan. So it's something we're already doing, we're just formalizing it? Yes. Do we have anything to sign on that? Any paperwork? Uh, no, it's just a vote. It's just a vote. Well, uh, you check, uh, yes, I, I, I think that I think there is in, in the, uh, maybe not, I think I'm looking at what's on your, uh, no, there's, what's in your folder. I don't think there's anything to sign. There's nothing. I'm sorry. Yeah, there is something. There is? Uh, it's the second page of... There, there's something that looks like this? Yeah. Yeah, it says okay. says retiree health insurance. No. Oh, right, because that's... Uh, yeah. Jan wants that for her uh, official copy of the financial policies book. Oh, here we go. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, so if you can so, give him the original. Yeah, here's the original. Okay, that's the original. Okay, okay. Yeah. good. Sorry, Thank you. Yeah. And, and we have copies. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> All right, so we are making an amendment on page 34, and it's just to formalize the policy that we already have in practice. Uh, and it's at the request of Jan Warner, our treasurer. Okay. All right, I'll make a motion that we uh, approve retiree health insurance uh, statement as amended. Second. I have second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All Lisa always has plenty of. Uh, What's that? You need a pen? 
We're managing. Okay. <laughs> okay, next item is to renew the regional kennel agreement with the Franklin County Sheriff's Office. This again is something we do every year. We've been doing this for now, what, uh, three or four years? Yeah. Um, well, since it started. Since yeah. it started, yeah. Okay. And, and it is and in the uh, the budget that was just passed. So right. it's three hundred and fifty dollars a year. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it and it works out works out very well. Yeah. Um, as soon as we hit two thousand people, we're going to go to five hundred. That's right. That's why we're trying to keep the population down. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do I? Um, I'll make a motion that we approve the uh, Regional Kennel Control Services Agreement between the Franklin County Sheriff and the Town of Conway. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Tom, do we have any items non anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting? I don't have anything. Okay. You have your update for us? Yeah. Uh, for committee news, uh, the state has noted that the work of the Energy Committee has done under the original contract for the Municipal Energy Technical Assistance, or META, grant has shifted so much as a result of the early work done and the change from, from SREC 2 to SMART. Uh, that they should submit a new grant rather than asking that the current contract be extended. So the Energy Committee is, uh, is dealing with that issue at this time. Okay. Um, as the assessors need to add a computer for the software conversion and the town hall electrical system is at capacity, we need to do some electrical work and upgrade what we have. This will not be very expensive, ex extensive, but no. it will be a sorry <laughs> extensive, um, but it will be a substantial expense. So I'm working with Peter Martin and Ron Sweet as building maintenance manager to come up with a financially workable plan. It looks as though it's it's actually going to be pretty reasonable. Okay. Uh, but there's there are old panels, so it's it's an extensive. Uh, switch. So you need to upgrade to a, a larger service. The, the panel, yeah. Everything's 15 amps there. So. 15 amps. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. And I think there are only two circuits. Uh, for the downstairs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I understand from Ken Womet that we have two possible candidates for the garage committee. Uh, he's going to let me know how he would prefer to proceed with that. Okay. Uh, but I am very much pushing to uh, get that working. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, with interest rates rising. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the planning board will discuss how they intend to move forward regarding the marijuana bylaw at their next meeting, which is on June 7th. Since the article to extend the moratorium failed, I assume we'll be planning for a special town meeting in the fall, or at least prior to December 31st, in order to get the planning bylaw on the books. Okay. I have a list of items for consideration by the Capital Improvements Planning Committee. I'd like your input on it and without objection, we'll put it on the next agenda. That These are things idea, yes. that I yes. think the uh, Select Board ought to insist uh, before we uh, appoint the next committee, that we ought to insist that they agree to undertake and complete by, say, November. Because it, it's, we need it before they start working on what they're going to be recommending next year. Sure. Uh, for departmental news... So we'll talk about this next week? Yeah. Um, uh, departmental News Chief Wimet has been planning to arrange a trade-in for Chief Baker's vehicle when he gets his new cruiser. As I recall, town meeting did not amend this motion to require a trade-in, uh, but the highway superintendent has indicated interest in getting some more use out of the vehicle, so I have directed him to mm. Chief Wimet for further conversation. Okay. Uh, I reached out to our emergency management director this past Tuesday regarding the tornado watch, asking if he was considering a reverse 911 call. He had been tracking the weather as well, and he agreed it was a close call, but not to activate the system. 
Uh, after that, the probability of damage lessened, so there was no need for any further communication. We received uh, actually in total two calls uh, from residents who thought we should have put out an alert, uh, which I think we would have done if there had been a tornado warning. We didn't, we didn't, we only had a watch, we didn't have a warning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the, the, the closest tornadoes were in southern Connecticut and New York State. Right. Right. Okay. So I, I think that was a good decision. So we, we were on, we were monitoring it and we almost did it, but we decided not to. Okay. I think that was the right decision. All right. Uh, the town was required to notify the state within 48 hours of a vote to change local taxes, so I arranged that with the town clerk. Uh, as a result of the voted town meeting for a tax on retail marijuana. Uh, and finally, we received today a draft contract for electricity aggregation. Oh, good. I will put it on the next agenda. Great. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Tom. Okay, concerns of the selectmen. Do we have any concerns? Any concerns? I have no concerns. No concerns. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll share my concerns next week in the interest of uh, brevity uh, for this week. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Great. Right. Nothing too alarming or okay. nothing even suspenseful. Go to sleepover. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay, we got our new beacon in the mail uh, from the uh, Massachusetts, uh, Massachusetts Municipal Association. And uh, this, this publication always has some really good information in it. So do we have some in our mailboxes? Uh, I think that may have been from a That was from last time. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think. John. I think Usually we each get a copy of it, so. so uh, yeah, you'll so, get a monthly. Yeah, yeah it'll so. come out, it usually comes out the first week in the month. Yeah. So it'll, it'll, the next one, yeah, this is the May edition, which came yeah. out beginning of this month. Yeah. The next one will come out at the beginning of June. Okay. Uh, you can look at old copies if you want. Bathroom reading, very good. Uh, any announcements? Do we have any announcements? Um, actually, this might have been more appropriate in an earlier category, but with Bob Baker stepping down, the Frontier Bonding Building Committee mm. uh, is searching for another Conway Selectman representative. I'm currently the school committee representative. Um, so there are issues there with two Selectmen on the same thing, even if one of them's not acting in the part of, of a selectman. Um, but if, if I'm the only one that continues doing it, w the Conway voice is diminished. Is there a um, chance somebody else on the school committee could do it and you could stay on as the select board? Um, Cindy, is, uh, Cindy is the other frontier judge. She has already indicated a there. lack of desire to do a very strongly worded lack of <laughs> desire to, to uh, um, so. Uh, well, I'll take over Bob's role if we need a second person. But, and I don't think that should be a problem. Yeah, the same way as you're both. I mean, unless you want to do it, but I, you, no, you, you know, you, you're, you you do it, and I don't I don't see a problem with it. Yeah, yeah you're both on FCAT. You know, yeah, because it, we, you're not yeah. dealing with business no, no, no. that's before exactly. the Conway Select Board. Right. Yeah. You're not deliberating Conway business. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't see. Unless you want to, if you want to do it, but you're on a lot of stuff. No, so. you you do it. Okay. You do. Okay. And, and thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, okay, any other announcements? Okay, our, our next scheduled meeting is for Tuesday the 29th because Monday is Memorial Day, and that's here in the town office. Um, and what we'll do now is we will vote to go into executive session make a roll call vote, uh, and I will, uh, we're going into executive session under reason number six, to consider the value of real property, um, and I would declare that uh, we need an executive session because it would be detrimental to our negotiating position uh, if we had it in open session. And uh, they're from to adjourn immediately. And we will adjourn from that executive session, okay. Roll call vote. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes.